So then, Ihara admitted to killing Mikashiba, did he? Off the record, yeah. He also admitted Kawana approached him to offer revenge. That sounds like you were productive. It's enough for us to move forward with the appeal, I'd say. How does that sound, Genda-sensei? Uh, Genda-sensei? The sexual battery and Mikashiba's murder are the very same case. To clear Ahara of harassment, you'll need to prove he murdered Mikashiba. But you don't have evidence he did, do you? Mm, Ahara-san was captured on video committing the murder. And the prosecution claims it's a fake, of unknown origins. The police are saying the same. They're only saying that to cover their asses. In reality, the sexual battery evidence against Ahara-san is what was really fake. At the very least, we can claim Yui Mamiya and the others aided in fabricating that, alibi or not. You really think the courts will grant you an appeal for just that? Are you saying that's not possible? I wouldn't go that far. But Ihara won't admit to murdering Mikashiba in court. Kind of significant, don't you think? So what chance do you have even if you do appeal? Without any decisive new evidence, you'll just end up splitting hairs over the original verdict. And what good'll it do other than damage your own reputation, Sarukun? Hmm. Okay. To be honest with you, I feel like I've been deeply underestimated. What? Saori-san, are you actually <laughs> mad? Yes. As a matter of fact, I am. You have every right to be. Listen, Sensei. Ehara and Kawana devised this plan knowing full well they could manipulate the justice system. Have we not fallen right into their trap? If we take pity on the prosecution now, we play right into their hands. True. So how can we worry about reputation when our duty as lawyers is to face the law? I understand where you're coming from, and you're right to think it, but... And another thing. While acting as a hard defense in the first trial, I never truly believed the claim. I didn't trust the person I was defending, and I felt sick to my stomach even being in the courtroom. Sorry, son. Hara likely saw right through that. He probably took great delight in our myopic dedication to the law. And I won't stand for that. I'm going to show him exactly what I can do. Hmm. What about Damn. you, Yagami? I want to hear your thoughts. Hey, we're in on this. We should listen to Saori-san. I understand why Ihara and Kawana did what they did. I can't condone it. I see. <laughs> so you feel it too, huh? Ah, uh, yeah. Yes. Although my yeah, motivation I should have seen it I the song, the song. Ah, we'll do it later. Hmm. What do you mean? Miko Shiba's murder, the fake groping alibi. Right, the I'm one behind it all is Kawana. And he's in hiding, time, actually. We need to shine enough light on him that the public can see what he is. And the perfect place to do it is during Ahara's appeal hearing. So it's not Ahara you're after, but Kawana. If we pursue Ahara's case, Kawana-san's actions will naturally come to light. And if we draw yeah, Kawana, then RK and so. the ones backing them will make their move. Soma from RK said Sawa Sensei knew too much. Which means whoever's behind them has a secret that needs to stay buried. Even if it means murder. And I need to figure that secret out. I owe Sawa Sensei that closure. The only thing we can do for her now is make sure the ones pulling the strings pay for it. Well said. I guess going back wasn't ever really an option. Genda Sensei. Looks like I got complacent from all the peace and quiet. Leave it to me to underestimate the younger generation. There we go. I apologize. I shouldn't have been so impertinent. That should be my line, Sauri Kun. I suppose I have to make up my mind after all that, don't I? Get out there and do what needs to be done. And heaven help anyone in your way. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yep, you heard him. And then again, technically, couldn't you call Homa take up the case? I got socials. Hello? 
Yagamishi, are you still in Kamurocho? Yeah, why? What's up? I'm afraid RK seems to be amassing in Ijincho. Very bizarre. Are they now? Yeah, I can't shake the feeling that the officers like Soma and Akutsu are still in town. You think so? If I was Soma, I'd have left Ijincho by now. He's a person of interest in Sawa-sensei's murder, too. I see. That does make sense. Things are settling into place here, though. I'm heading back to Ijincho with Sugiura. We got a lot to go over with you when I get back. <laughs> Wonder what it could be. Okay, see you soon then. Yeah, let's go. Wait, do we? Yeah, I think we had to go back. Hmm? Right. We have more enough money. something. Looks like we're finally starting to see the whole picture. Kuwana-san, or rather Kitakata-sensei, huh? And his students helped Ihara murder Mikoshiba. But there's still some things that doesn't explain. Like what? Like why does RK keep going after Kuwana-san? You think that's weird too, right, Yagami-san? Yeah. That's the piece of the puzzle that'll lead us to why Sawa-sensei got killed. Before they came to Ijinsho, RK was originally looking for Shinya Kawai. But when they found out he might have been killed, they suddenly shifted gears to Kawana. So what are they trying to accomplish? We can guess all we want, but that's not going to get us anywhere. Shouldn't we ask someone in RK directly? They're strengthening their numbers in Ijinsho as we speak. The coons at the bottom rung aren't going to be in the know on that, though. <coughs> though if Akatsu or Soma were around, then we might get somewhere. 
That's true. Sitting around here won't get us any further. I'm gonna head into the city for a bit. I'm quick on my feet. That's about all I have going for me right now. <laughs> How modest of you. Yeah, don't say that, Yagamishi. Otherwise, what ground do we have to stand on? It's... Beep, 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 beep. You received a message. I'm a so, uh, okay. Shirosaki, do you have a minute, Yagami-san? Yeah, what's up? I was thinking back on our interview with Ihara-san, and something he said isn't sitting right with me. So I wanted to ask your opinion. Which part felt off? The part about Kawana approaching other bullying victims besides Ihara-san to offer revenge. Hmm. Ihara-san also mentioned that most of them rejected his <coughs> offer, but never went to the police either. Yeah, and? Well, wasn't the first bully Kawana killed his own student? Shinya Kawai, I mean. Tormented by his bullies, Mitsuru Kusumoto's belief left him in a coma to this day. That event was the catalyst for Kawana's actions. So wouldn't he have approached his parents about revenge, too? Mitsuru Kusumoto's parents? You're talking about his mother, Reiko Kusumoto, right? Hmm. Yes who is currently Vice Minister of the Ministry of Health. If she accepted or is even an accessory to a revenge plot against Kawhi, then there's no way she'd ever want that secret to get out. With her level of influence and power, wouldn't it be possible that she ordered RK to silence Kawana? Which would explain how RK's actions are being controlled, wouldn't it? And you think it's Reiko Kusumoto? You don't think vice ministers can control criminal organizations from the shadows? You know very well the answer to that. Hmm, it's true. Yeah. Tsukumo's actually looked into her before. I'll talk to him about it right now. Yeah, this is genius, Sarisan. This could lead us right to who's controlling RK. Quite a compliment coming from you. I feel better already. <laughs> don't sweat it. I'll call you if I find anything out. Hmm, it's more point though. The first one was kind of the same area. Uh, <coughs> Yagami-san, back already? <laughs> that was quick. I figured you'd be out on the town until evening. Well, the day's not over yet. I need you to look into Reiko Kusumoto again. She might be the one behind RK. Really? Yeah. Can you pull up the picture of her you showed me last time? Why wouldn't I need that picture? I mean, there's not a lot of info they can get from it. Okay, 
Take a look at this, Yagamishi. Reiko Kusumoto became vice minister just recently. It hasn't even been a full year yet. Looks like she's still got a good rep. Yeah, there's almost no criticism of her out there. The ministry revolution. Bucking the bureaucracy. Golden parachutes don't fly with Kusumoto. Go her. Vice Minister is pretty high up there, yeah? Big time. If she really did take Kawana up on his offer, silencing him would be the quickest way to save her skin. And in that case, she'd need some kind of connection to RK. Some kind of connection? A bit vague, no? Fair enough, but RK already took an innocent life while hunting Kawana down. Right. And after killing Sawa-sensei, they tried to kill me, too. Still, no matter how dangerous the gang, murder is a risky proposition. And again, if someone's pulling the strings, they have a lot less to worry about. Especially if that someone has vice minister status. Well, the internet's not gonna give us much else. How about we do our usual thing? Go straight to the source. Maybe we should. Would it really be that easy to get a meeting with someone like her? Mitsuru Kusumoto's still in a coma, right? Yes? If he's in a hospital, we can catch her by surprise there. I get ya. That might work. Huh. What's this now? What's what now? Breaking news from the net. It says manhunt for Sawa-sensei's murderer. And? It's hitting the network news, too. The person they're after is... Wanted for the murder of private school teacher Yoko Sawa in her own apartment, Kanagawa PD is conducting a search for the suspect, self-proclaimed handyman Yu Kitakata. <laughs> Why are they looking for Kuwana? Shouldn't they be after Soma? ...former teacher before and after the incident. It's also surfaced that he's been using a false identity for over a decade. The police are hopeful that their search will turn up some sort of connection to Sawasan. Hmm. If Kawanasan was caught on camera, then surely some RK thugs were as well? Yeah, I think so. On that note, I should have been in the footage too. The police only seem to want Kawana, but why? Guess we'll have to ask them ourselves. Ask who? Detective Watanabe from Kanagawa PD. He was the guy in charge of Mikoshiba's murder. Smart idea. <clears throat> Been a while, hotshot. Yeah, I guess it has. Hey, I'm curious. Do you have any evidence that Kawana killed Sawa-sensei? I take it you saw the news. Yeah. Kawana was caught on camera near the crime scene. Plus, he knew the victim. If that's not enough, he was using a fake name. How's that for evidence? But I saw Soma holding an ice pick up to Sawasense. Plus, there were RK footprints all over the scene. So why is Kawana the only suspect? Because the big boys with big balls at HQ said so. Barking at me won't get you anywhere. Mm, okay. So this is all just pressure from upstairs? What is going on here? Why are you so bent out of shape? Kawana's a legitimate suspect, and all we're doing is following procedure. So stick your private investigator schnoz somewhere else. Ooh, you know, you sound pretty bent out of shape yourself. Where are you right now? Uh-huh. I was thinking maybe we could meet up. How's a free pass to bitch about your work sound? Ame san? On the phone, in person, there's nothing I can tell you. <sighs> he hung up. Yagamishi, I managed to focus in on the background noise from your phone call. Despite all the interference, I have a good idea of Nabe-san's location. What? Seriously? He's on the main drag in Chinatown. If you go now, I'm sure you'll find him. But is he even gonna listen to you? It won't matter if I miss him because we sat here wondering. <laughs> Yagami Detective Agency. Quick on its feet indeed. <laughs> Can't compete with that. Alright, let's do this. In Chinatown. Wait, where is Chinatown? Kind of forgot. Where is it? Your map? Oh, no, wait, here it is.
Why are you here? Oh, hey, Nabe-san. And you were... It's Sakurai? Oh, right. <laughs> I take it you didn't just happen to be in the neighborhood. <laughs> Let's just say some friends of mine have a real keen sense of smell. Something stinks about the cops here. Excuse me, pal. The Sawa case. Why aren't you going after RK? Or are you and you're just keeping me in the dark? This isn't the place to talk about that. What the... Hey! I get the feeling something's keeping you guys from doing your jobs. And I don't have to listen to you. You want to say that again? Sakurai, I gotta hit the camp. Head back to the station. Huh? Need to take a piss, Yagami? You're looking hydrated. <laughs> so yeah. Good call. Then let's... See up to. Nice spot you brought me to. Very romantic. <sighs> well, we're about to have a shitty conversation. We'll do it with a pleasant view. Oh. Do the cops really believe Kuana is responsible for Sawa Sensei's death? We wouldn't be looking for him if we weren't serious. Want. To arrest Kuana? His real name's Yu Kitikata. He's been using a fake. And he services right at the murder scene of his former student. In my eyes, he was suspicious enough. What about Soma from R.K.? He should have been spotted on the nearby campus, too. Like when he entered her apartment. He wasn't. How is that possible? Let me rephrase. There's no footage that had R.K. anywhere near it. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> in the moment Mikoshiba's murder went down, the higher-ups had been busy playing politics. I had a handle on things when we were just competing with Tokyo PD over who got to really hara. But after that murder footage came out, it really stirred shit up. Sawa Sensei's case has me scratching my head, too. Someone at the top is trying to keep details under wraps. And they think it'll work even in this day and age. You're saying the whole force is in on a cover up? It started with the footage surrounding Sawa's apartment. Someone on the inside erased it. Any footage that had the RK guys tagged in it is totally wiped. <laughs> that is, uh... Raise the footage. Very suspicious. Are you serious? Yeah. You heard me. Kawana leaving her place is all that's left. Even the parts where you show up are long gone. Before and after, the only person that the cameras pin the crime on 
is Kawana himself. Who would go so far to erase the footage? Who would do something like that? It's time to let it go, Yakami. Mikoshiba's case and Sawa-sensei's case, they're closing the book. And to tie up the loose ends, and this is the shitty part. Kawana has to die in an accident. What? As soon as they track him down, they'll put him into custody and then blame it on negligence. They'll say he resisted arrest and died in the struggle, I guess. Someone clearly wants Kawana gone, and they have the power to do it. Come on. Who could have that power? Kawana is clearly a target of someone higher up. Even if he sees it coming, he won't be able to stop it. As far as I'm concerned, the case is closed. You wouldn't understand until you've been on the force. When the team you're playing for is rotten to the core, all you can do is look the other way. As for me, I'll stick to the cut and dry cases for a while. That's what will keep me an honest cop. That's bullshit! You'll set the lid on the trash, ignore the smell of the rot coming from inside and go on pretending it's justice, and then you call that being an honest cop? Asshole. Did you forget that you oh, were talking to a detective? You never did answer the question, now, my son. Who had the authority to erase the security cameras? Who wants Kawana dead so bad that they do it inside? Even if I told you, what the fuck could you do about it, detective? Smart ass! <laughs> Leave it alone, Yagami. It's for your own good. Is that your call? Well, I think I'll be the judge of that. Oh, you little piece of <laughs> shit! I've had enough! That son of a bitch! Let's go. Switch. Stop. They broke the lock and forced their way into Sawa Sensei's place. That's when Soma came in. I'm sure she was terrified. They were pointing an ice pick at her. When I found her, her eyes were still open. I could see the tears. Yet the police are going after Kawana instead of Soma. And the cops that were there know he isn't a suspect, but say their hands are tied. So it'll be my voice you hear instead of hers. And when they come to silence me, I'll know who the puppet masters are. <laughs> uh, I hear you. You're probably right. And if you have any idea who might be pulling the strings, I need you to tell me before it's too late. Is there anyone on the force? Who would want Kawana dead? The moment we opened Sawa Sensei's case, the Kanagawa brass had a suspect file ready to go. And they didn't point to your guy Soma. They named you Kitakata, alias Kawana the Handyman. <laughs> Hilarious, isn't it? 
we were the first to the scene, which means the big wings pulled the suspect file before it even happened. Where'd the info about Kitakata come from? Not sure. But the National Police Agency said it came from public security. Public security? Oh. <clears throat> That's quite Why interesting. public security though. involved in Sawasensei's case? Seems they were interested in RK's criminal network in Kamurocho. You know how after the Tojo clan disbanded, the criminals started going underground? Well, public security would rather let RK roam free than bust them. Monitoring them quietly gives them intel on criminal movements. And even if you catch these guys, they will just take their place. Wait, so they want RK on the streets? Is that why they're brushing Sala Sensei's case under the rug? If RK goes down in one fell swoop over a murder case, they have to find a new source of intel. Purely speaking from public security's point of view, that is. Unbelievable. Not that they'd ever say that out in, well, public. If you believe public security, there's no way RK killed Sala Sensei. What the hell? Do they even have a reason? Not that I'm aware of. On top of that, I asked Tokyo PD about Soma. He doesn't have a record. No priors, no census registry, not even a damn profile pic. Then, what does that mean? The man known as Kazuki Soma doesn't exist, basically. Maybe that's how it's always been. Maybe it's a cover-up. They had plenty of files on Kuwana to send our way instead. They're the ones who made him the prime suspect in Salasense's case, too. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Kuwana's a scapegoat for RK. Public security wants to shut the curtains on Sawasense's case with him. As far as they're concerned, with Kiwana silenced, we'll all balance out. So that's what you meant by Kiwana having an accident. Right. Better to flush your shit than keep a lid on it. Okay, okay. So who's running the show in public security? Do they have a name? I wasn't told, unfortunately. I'm afraid I'm further down the food chain than you thought. I mean, we already know plenty, actually. Yeah, Watanabe speaking. Huh? Gene Show? Huh? Right. Got it. Call me if anything else comes up. Kawana's has been spotted. A witness reported seeing him in Gene Show. Seriously? He's back here? Couldn't say for sure. Where's he at? Fukutokucho, in Koreatown, where the Komi Jewel hangs. Police are headed there now. Komi Jewel? Apparently, it means spider web in Korean. You haven't seen it? It's made to look like it's abandoned. And Kawana's there? You're not gonna say you got that from me, right? I don't have much time. You said Kawana might have an accident, didn't you? I'm sure that's why you're telling me all this. If you find him, let him know it's public security that's after him. And they mean business. This is getting like very deep though. Pretty 
Yagamishi. It's me. Oh, I have an update for you. It seems Kawana has been spotted in Ichincho. Yeah, in Komijo, right? I'm headed there now. Ah, fastidious as ever. But the police have already started blocking off Komijo. Already? They're probably going to surround the area and gradually close in on Kawana san. What's your plan, Yagamishi? Ooh, that's going to be troublesome. Public security is probably behind us. Around. And according to Nabe san, once they capture Kawana, they'll end up in an accident. An accident? Long story short, I need to find Kawana before the cops do. Can you navigate me to him? I most certainly can. For now, just keep heading toward Komijo. In the meantime, I'll be monitoring the surrounding area. Oh, and I'll dispatch Sugiurashi. Appreciate that, Tsukumo. This is Tsukumo. Yagamishi, please come in. Hey, I think I'm in front of Komichu. Indeed you are. <laughs> I can see you from the drone. I didn't oh, notice the cops blocked the road. Any way I can get in there? Not to worry. I've already looked into an infiltration room. go. So, what should I do? Can you see the white car that's parked in front of the barricade? Yeah, I can. There's a really small gap on the side of the car. You should be able to fit through it. It'll be a tight squeeze, I'm sure, but I have no doubt in your agility, Yagamishi. Yeah, but what happens if I get spotted? You can leave that part to me. Tsukumo, where should I go from here? Komi Jewel proper seems to be located behind those construction fences. There's one door in the fence, so that's your best bet. How stupid can they be? Come on. Let's 
Tsukumo, keep navigating for me. And let me know as soon as you find Kawana. Huh? It's weird. Hello? No, this is definitely not football, right? Kitakata Sensei! Show yourself! Come on! Get your ass out here! Relax with the yelling, will you? You're giving away our location. How am I supposed to relax? This shit's intense! Shh! 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 Didn't Tsukumokun tell you I was on my way? Yeah, I suppose he did. Yagami-san, all these guys are RK. Does that mean RK beat the police to Kawana? No, not exactly. I just saw some cops let RK guys through. Ooh. But maybe I'm wrong. I mean, that'd be crazy, wouldn't it? Not necessarily. No, that was no mistake. Some cops are working with RK. But why? Someone in authority on the force is trying to get rid of Kawana. So they want him to have an accident. What? That's off the scale insane. Insane or not, I need to get to Kawana before RK or the cops do. You know where he is? I don't. Come to think of it, why would Kawana-san come to Komicho? Does he know someone here? Good question. Let's just focus on reaching the top of this place for now. Aren't there people from Komicho here? It can't be all RK. Maybe we can ask them where Kawana is. Yeah, worth a shot. As long as we don't give ourselves away. See, like, those, these footsteps have to be hard, like, you know, could be dead dance. That looks like a lot of RK muscle to me, Yagami-san. Yeah, but a if that many are out searching, the silver lining is that they don't have a lead on Kawana. True. We'll just have to stay one step ahead of them, then. I don't see anywhere else we can go. So let's go up those stairs. Looks like this is the highest we can go. Yagami-san, we've got our cake coming in from below too. Let's find another route on this floor.
Yeah. We should be able to get up from here. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. D dude, Segura. Damn. Wish I was that nimble. Oh, come on, hold it from... Work, Yagami san. Yo, you guys are Comey Jewel, aren't you? Huh? Comey Jewel? Us? What's going on here, man? This place is empty. Either way, would you? Yagami san, they seem like RK. I'd rather not have to bullshit them. So, take them down? Yeah. <laughs> Yagami-san, looks like the top floor is up ahead. There's a room on this side too, though. Might be worth checking out. I want to. Oh, we can't see shit. All right, we can't see her. Hey, perfect. Since you don't know how long this will take, I'm gonna cut this. Sh well. It's only 8 minutes short, so... reason why we are cutting it a tiny bit short, because we are able to save, is because there might be potential that I will be going into Rocket League in a little bit, as me and someone else are teaming up for a Rocket League tournament this Sunday. I will announce that later this week, probably Friday or Saturday, for those that want to watch. We will raid Meadow because it has been a while since we raided Meadow. We do not have a raid message. You can al always feel free to put up Reaper Raid per usual 
Other than that, I hope everyone will have a very fine day or evening. And yeah, I'll see everyone tomorrow with another stream.